Okay, apparently I'm hosting alien. I don't know why it, I don't know why it does this when I'm live and continues to host. There we go. So, <laughs> that's cute. Okay, I'm hoping. I can hear you on stream. So, your little cow nails are cute. Okay, I think it's good. Let me get this glue gun plugged in. Because I'm going to be gluing everything under the sun together. Yes. Look, I have, I have little palms. And I'm going to put them in the middle of the flowers. That's how I'm... That's how I'm going to do my middles. They did. I painted them a couple of different ways. I think they look kind of cute. And they're all, like, they're all a little different. So there's no two the same. But they look much better than they did. Yes, which is awesome. Hey, Miss 89. So this is me and this right here is lemons. So Lemons and I have been um, <laughs> look there she is it's Lemons and it's okay oh you're wearing the same shirt I have from Geeky I love that shirt. So we have been planning this now for, I don't know, three weeks, almost a month, a minute, right? So Lemon sent me a picture of a wreath she wanted to make uh, for us to make together, right? Um, with little sugar skulls and paper flowers on it. And so Lemons is doing her take on this, and I'm doing my take on this, which is kind of cool, because we both get to make something unique. And we're going to make it together, which makes me happy. I love this idea. I was so excited about the idea that Discord chat would work, because that means that we could do this.
Oh. <laughs> exactly. It looks good though, it works. Check out these little flowers with the pom-poms in the center. I kind of like it. I think it kind of fits the, it's, it's, it looks like, you know, Dios de los Muertos. It kind of looks like the Day of the Dead stuff. That, well, sometimes you just go with it, right? The instructions for this originally calls for, what was it, 120 flowers or something? Insane. Yeah. Ridiculous. That you hand fold, right? You, you hand make. Was it? So lemons flowers look something like these, right? They're these little spirals and you spiral them all up using a quilling tool. My flowers are this size. <laughs> I know. I feel like I might have cheated a little. Now, to be fair, when I created these, I did not know what size they were supposed to be. <laughs> glue gun is really old. Yes. That's awesome. I hate knitting. Look at this one.
Yeah. I like this so much better than I thought I was going to, actually. They look very festive. I'm pretty sure my my glue gun's wearing out. And I've given my others away. So that's the problem. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, yours are so much smaller, though. I mean, you don't have room to to move so much as I do. had really wanted these all put together and ready before today, but it's okay. Only get so much done in a day. And this is dinner. Right? get it all done in your time. You can do it. Right? Well, you'll get it too. I mean, you start with one and then you, you know, set up your kitchen, set up your Yes. How long are you going for? Until I'm done. Okay. You want me to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need this glue gun to do something. There we go. That's better. Right. So there's the bottom. I don't know. It's like it came with like a clip that you could put on a Christmas tree. Um Mhm. Mm yeah, they're wired. You can you can change how they're shaped. 
I just curled them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a little cluster. Oh, I kind of like that. I like it like bundled up with it on the top. Yeah, and then if you have a couple of extra flowers, you could put like a flower on each side of that bowl that's on the top. That would be cute. Yeah, so it's like a focal point at the bottom. Boy, I don't know if I want to do flowers all the way around it. Like, I don't know how much I want to do. What do you mean? Yours looks good. I try not to stab myself with these pins. Uh, I don't. Ooh. I touched that with my hand. Oh, thanks, maybe. You like it? Look at lemons. You put little ghosts and pumpkins on them. They're all laminated. It looks so cute. So, I need to make. Yeah, I've got 12 of these sugar skulls made. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna, I could probably make two of these wreaths if I wanted to do the whole feather fiasco all over again. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is such a mess. The cats, the fan, the dog, the the whole train wreck in full effect. Such a mess. I still have feathers on my floor. I still have, I, I walked past a feather on my stairs when I went to get, get a drink for stream. Hmm. 
What you doing? Let's go. Come say hi. Oh, come say hi. Come on. Buddy, if you put your head on my arm, I can't move it. I can't, I can't pet you right now. I'm, I'm trying to make flowers. Why are you making me feel guilty? This dog is absolute professional. Uh, no, he's a Doberman Fincher. He's about 100 pounds. He's my daughter's service dog. So he's in he's active. But we've had some um, some recent issues go on with our family involving my daughter. She's having a little bit of a hard time and um, her service dog also had a little bit of a hard time because of everything that's happened. So currently right now he's more of an extremely well-trained dog. Right? He can open doors. Hey, gorilla. He can um, pick up anything off the floor and hand it to you. He's trained for mobility. Uh, so he can open up the refrigerator. So you have to keep him training, right? You have to keep um, you have to, to keep teaching him all the time because he craves it and he's not working as much. So we are constantly working with him because he wants to work. You know what I mean? He's, a, he's been trained since he was six weeks old. Um, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's not a lot of work if he's your service dog and you're actively saying, hey, grab that or do this or, you know what I mean? But it's a lot of work when he's not. <laughs> so he comes and lays his, his head on my arm to tell me that he wants to do stuff, right? Or he'll come and nose me. He puts his nose on me because that's how he, he triggers people, right? Hey, there's a problem. So if I'm feeling upset now, he'll come and trigger. <laughs> Lemons disappeared. <laughs> Excuse me. You're okay. It's okay. We're doing it. It's okay. We're doing it, right? We're making this happen. It's good. I'm still like super excited about this whole concept anyway. So here's what I'm doing. I'm making these paper flowers, right? I am putting a florist pin in them. I am hot gluing the florist pin in. I'm putting a palm on top of that to make the center of the little flower. And then I'm putting them into this wreath. And this feels like an incredibly complicated process. And then we have our little sugar skulls. I think I want that guy up there. Like that. They didn't turn out as bad as I thought they were going to. I was pretty... Uh, yeah, I didn't know. Uh, 
yeah, my glue gun is definitely wearing out. It's probably 20 years old, so I think I got my $5 out of it, but <laughs> but it's definitely uh, starting to wear out. <laughs> Yay, somebody to be messy with me. That's nice. Always have to be. Gosh, this glue gun. Can you please just Yeah, I don't doubt it. <coughs> I always end up with it all over my hands. But you know I'm messy by nature anyway hey Kevin I tried to come see you stream today but I couldn't get it to come up by the way speed are you new to stream have you been here before? Because I don't think I've seen your name before. Maybe I have and just don't remember. To stop what? The spider webby things from the glue gun? You just rub that tip of the glue gun on whatever you're gluing? Like you brush it, once the glue's done, you brush it up against it, and then you go like this, and wrap the little spider webs around there. But I still get them all over, so I'm probably not the best one to offer that advice. Oh, I'm sorry, Kevin, that stinks. I don't always get to catch you, so I was excited that I had like I had like 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have 20 minutes. I can. <laughs> but it didn't work out. I really don't think I want flowers all the way around this. Lemon, what do you think? So what do I do with those 10 other skulls that I painted and all of these, look at all this. Look, look, I have, I have all these things. <laughs> I can make 10 of them if I keep doing it this way. Buddy, what do you need? What do you need? Do you know I'm streaming? So you're like, somebody give me a treat? too smart this is how smart this dog is okay so um, he's on a lead in my backyard for the first time in his life when he goes out to go oh okay okay you're gonna just really come up and say hi so those are feathers and you can't have them mm. no they're not for you no that's mine it's not yours 
Um, you, he's trying to get all the way up here like the cats do. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> okay, down. Down. No. No, you can't get in my lap right now. Um. Hi, Ginger. Um. Yeah, so he's on a lead for the first time. He's never been on a lead in, like, when he goes to go to the bathroom, right? Um, so he gets put on the lead, and he goes, he goes in our backyard to go out to go potty. And there are two great big uh, maple trees back there. And we put him on a 40-foot lead so he could have plenty of room to go, like, run around, which means he has 80 feet, which is a lot, right? So he can reach the trees, which means he can get himself like wrapped around one of them. So he gets wrapped around day one, right? And so I walk out there and I'm like, Skull, go around, go around. And he went halfway, right? And I was like, well, this is awesome. Um, but he wouldn't go all the way, so I had to walk out and show him. So the third time he did it, I'm standing on my deck and I go, go around. He walks right around the tree, untangles himself and continues on like nothing happened. Brilliant dog. Like he is so smart. And he fully understands like 40 different words in the English language. Hey, little man. Like it's amazing to me. I've had smart dogs before, but yeah. Well, in training, yeah. Yeah, Lumon, it's lemons. Um, yeah, he nobody gets to interact with him outside of you know our family when he's not wearing his vest and he's just being a dog in the house. Um, but he loves his, he loves his mammal. <laughs> and he likes to be in mammal's lap. He's currently ripping my headphones out. Skull. You're going to get caught up in the cord, buddy. <sighs> We're making a wreath. We're making a sugar skull, like Dios de los Muertos wreath. This is my version of it. Uh, Dios de los Muertos is Day of the Dead, which is um, a Mexican holiday, right? So these are meant to represent the little sugar skulls. And then these are paper flowers. Um, yeah. So here in America, um, we celebrate Halloween, but this is a this is kind of a cool take on on that little bit of culture. A wreath, <laughs> we're making a wreath. Um, yeah. So I grew up on uh, the West Coast in America, and. Um, the population in the city that I mainly grew up in um, was was very Native American and Hispanic, right? I was by far the minority. Um, so this is something that I grew up with, right? I grew up celebrating, um, and I really enjoy it. So I was super excited when Lemon sent me this picture and said, hey. Um, oh, Lemons, thank you so much. Congratulations, Reef. You now have a sub. Um, so I was excited when Lemon sent the picture and wanted to do this project, right? <laughs> right?
Yeah, and then you did really good with it. So just to give you an idea, this is the size flower that Lemons made for her wreath. You can see some of them there by the little ghosts and the skulls. This is the size flower I made for my wreath. So I kind of cheated a little. I mean, I didn't know I was cheating. <laughs> But I made it much easier on myself. <laughs> so when we first started, um, I was like, Lemon said she was going to order paper flowers. And so what she ordered was something that starts out, oh, this is, this last one is broken, but with like a whole spiral like this, right? There would be more paper in here. It's just broken. And then, um, you, you spiral them in and then they end up making a flower that looks like this, right? And so um, the instructions for the wreath said you'd need like 130 of those flowers or 120, what'd you say, lemons? 124, 122 flowers? I, a ridiculous amount of flowers. <laughs> but I didn't know that bit until I'd already designed mine in design space and then cut them out with the Cricut. And then I was like, uh, I think mine might be too big. <laughs> but I kind of like them. Uh, I'm gonna grab another wreath, I'll be right back. I won't be able to hear, hey Erica. I won't be able to hear you lemons, but I'll be right back. I mean, everybody can still hear me, but. So there's our little wreath that we start with. Um, I'm so scared I'm gonna get up and jerk these headphones out of my ear. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna test out <laughs> Yes. I'm gonna test out something else and see if I like it. See if I So what's everybody doing this weekend? We have a three-day weekend here in America. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Columbus Day, which made me kind of giggle. Yes. Yes, we have names for everything. because the bank gets the day off again. Can't bank today. Sorry, no money for you. <laughs> do they mean bank like banking or do they mean bank like we're celebrating the side of the river today? And then you guys all go to the river and have a day. Is that a thing? <laughs> Look! I have exactly enough to cover this. I don't even have to cut it. It's so satisfying. See, now, I'm super happy about this. Nobody's going to clip that and think it's great, but I do. 
fucking clip did. Nobody's gonna care. Let me just... Nobody but me would care about this. That is the best. Seeing your family and then attempting to do what I tried to do tonight again. Yeah. It is a tiny, a tiny glue gun. Are you trying to put a link up, Lemons? Lemons, why are you not a VIP on my channel? What the heck? Right, Lamar? It's the best. Like, I literally just got into my little, my little bin of stuff and went, hey, this might work. And it's perfect. I ought to put that on stream first. I don't know that it's ever happened on stream before. <laughs> I wish I could see I need to know how to fix this okay so like when you get something asterisked out right even if I click on your name I can't see what it was There you go, whisper me. I kind of like, this is rocking. Look at the sequence. It's so shiny. It's an old scarf. It would be pretty for Christmas. There's Lemon's Link. Okay, so we have all of these black feather or leaves that I made. They're not feathers, they're leaves that I've not used yet. I mean, I suppose there's still time to order before before Halloween. I could put these in the Etsy store, right? We can do that. Yeah, we're making Halloween wreaths. I know you're doing a good job. So Speed, is it your first time in, in my stream? Have we met before? I'm awful with remembering names. Ah, okay, good. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. I hope it's not offended you that I asked. I just, I know that I stink with people's names. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's a special stream. I don't normally stream today, but we're having a special stream um, with my friend Lemons here where we get to craft together right so on um, 
Mondays, we have We Make It Mondays. It is lemons, yes. It's Life Gives You Lemons. Um, and on We Make It Mondays, I put up, um, <laughs> little mom's excited now. I put up a different uh, thing that we're going to do each week. And then people can um, do that with me. But it's kind of different in that you don't have to go and buy the same materials I have. You don't have to do the same thing I'm doing, right? So just like Lemons here, she's making a uh, her version of a Day of the Dead wreath right with skulls and paper flowers and she's got some ghosts and pumpkins in there that she's added that she laminated so that they'd hold up to weather um, and then I put black feathers around mine did some paper flowers and some palms and little sugar skulls on it right so the cool thing about we make it Mondays is it works very much like this you take something that we're going to do and then you use any medium you want you make it any way that you want and then we post pictures of stuff together in the Discord. So we get to share that. And since this works with Discord video, which is exciting to me, any of you guys can be a guest here and actually physically make something at the same time as me um, using Discord video. So you don't really have to be a streamer to do it. Any of you guys can do it. So I've been super excited about this, not, not only because I get to make stuff with lemons, which is awesome, um, but because this, this whole me collaborating with lemons, I think is gonna bring us all something really cool, right? Because it means we get to do more stuff together and I love that. <laughs> yeah right and and I get to make a Halloween wreath for my friend from the UK which is amazing like I love this well I, in particular I like it because it means that um Somebody else doesn't have to have a live stream going at the same time, do all of this stuff to get, you know what I mean? If you're not comfortable doing that or you don't want to or whatever. The Cadgar link and stuff. I will say, I did really like um, the co-stream on why is there knocking at my door? Hold, please. School got out. He was on the lead. I don't know. Yeah, he's out running around. <laughs> yeah, he was, he, he was just up here. Where is he? This, how is he getting off of these I don't know how he's doing it. He's freaking brilliant. I don't know how he's doing it. Lay down. This dog. You know the problem with having a dog that's smarter than you are? <sighs> it's twice in two days. 
Alex can give me a heart attack. Yeah, he's taking, so, sure. No, so not only does he have a regular collar on, but he also has a collar that has, um, they're called blunted. They have like the little prongs for big, big dogs, right? But the ends are blunted, they're rounded, so it can't hurt him, but it stops him from pulling. He's figured out how to unclip it how to get the clip to release so he can take himself off of his lead and then go run around the house. <laughs> He's just brilliant. <sighs> I mean, you know, give me a heart attack, but he's brilliant. Um, my daughter is a military retired uh, from the United States Army. So she sustained um, some injuries during service um, and she was actually uh, assigned this dog uh, and he was trained with her specifically for her while she was in service uh, and they started training when he was six weeks old so she sustained um, several inju injuries he's he's trained for mobility like I said uh, she has some problems with um, her ankle and her leg, as well as um, she's she had injury to her neck and the base of her skull, which gives her um, pretty severe vertigo. That'll never go away because it's a physical injury. And it's amazing how much vertigo impacts your entire life. So she's got a couple of different things that she needs him for. And he does. Yeah, the problem with hers is that it doesn't ever. It doesn't ever go away. It's a, it's a physical injury. So we have a, a family full of retired and active military members. Well, yeah, it didn't, uh, it didn't go great. <laughs> That's for sure. But um, she's a remarkable human being, my daughter. I'm extremely proud of her. And and she is still here, yes. Uh, she's gone through a lot. She's continuing to. And we've got a lot going on with her right now with her little life. Uh, but she's doing great. Oh, I hope so. She's doing a good job. Oh, thank you. She's doing a good job. She's got her own little life and she's her her own person and, and she's doing amazing things. And she deserves 100% of the credit for that. Absolutely. Check these out. What do you think, guys? Got to get it to focus. I do like the leaves. So there's two different kinds. I've got them just flat where I didn't do anything. And then I've got these where I split them. I split them down the middle and then I put them together like the flowers. Right, where you pop them together and then glue them. Please ignore all of the green paint. Oh my hands. I'm not really dying. I'm not really a zombie. It's just green paint from yesterday. <laughs> it looks awful. It looks awful. Look. <laughs> the stream in six days this week is rough. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I work a full-time job on top of this. And working five and streaming six is uh, a lot. It's a lot for me. 
I really enjoy it. Absolutely. I actually don't talk about my other career. Um, it's fine that you ask. Like, you can ask any question that you want. Um, but I don't talk about it. So, in general, you can say what I do is work uh, within social work. That would be the closest I'm going to come to actually getting into details. I have security issues around my job, so I try to keep it separate. But I do love what I do. I really do. It is my goal. You're a diesel technician. Oh, that's awesome. This desk is my grandfather's desk. I grew up underneath this desk in a foreign auto shop. He built dune buggies and uh, worked on Volkswagens and all that kind of stuff. So I, I grew up under this desk in the grease, hiding, <laughs> playing hide and seek in the shop. So I understand. That's amazing. Need people like you. That's for sure. I don't know how to put. Yeah. I think I want to kind of put these to where they're just peeking through the flowers. Let me zoom in so you can see my idea here. What do you think about this? Just set them along this edge and then put the flowers around so they're just peeking through. Yeah? I kind of do too. Hmm. Like this? Like just suspended? Yeah, I could do that. And then flowers all the way around them. That's awesome speed. I am talking. Can you guys hear lemons? You can hear her, right? No one can hear her this whole time? Lord love a duck, you all, are you serious? I can't even. She's not on my phone. She's on stream. Lemons talk. That's going to give you guys an echo. You're just going to hear me twice, aren't you? Yeah, you're hearing me twice. That's no good. Yeah, she's in Discord. Look at your lights turn on. I love it. Uh, try now, lemons. Yeah. <laughs> Reef. <laughs> Can you hear her now? Where 
whatever source you have for the video, the audio needs to be included as well for slob. I can't believe nobody told me this whole time they couldn't hear you. I'm dying right now. I hear it through my headphones, but yes, that's desktop audio. No. Shout it so they heard me. No. You heard her for a second? Do you I'm hear out? No, it's not from you shouting. It's from me scanning through. Are you tampering. Mm hmm But she's running on... <sighs> Women speak for a second. I can't. There's no turning it up. I can't even see where it's coming from. A bit better. Turn me back up a bit. It's okay. I'm just trying to figure it out. You're doing, thank you for telling me. <laughs> yeah, at least somebody came in and said something. Right? Otherwise you would never have known. 
No, we would have just gone on forever. I mean, I can keep messing with it. Here, lemons, talk again. Head. This is life gives you lemons and coiling misses. <laughs> Does anybody hear me? Hello from the other side. Very nice. Okay, so you guys can hear her and understand her. How long have I been streaming? We've been going an hour yet? <laughs> it's just a bit low. I can't get her to turn up anymore. I can't. I don't know. I don't think I can turn myself up. I just need to put something in the printer. I've legit got everything maxed that I can. But it's bizarre because I don't have an audio bar that I can look at, so I don't understand. Like I've turned mine up like as much as I can, so I'm like fully turned up. Like I have zero control over it, I don't know. don't know. Lemons, I can't see what you're doing. Oh, hang on. This. Uh, I can just see your keyboard. Can you see it now? There you go. You can see it now. No, you can't because I've just clicked on my own stream and not on your stream. <laughs> now you can see it. <laughs> I was like, wait. That's me. Yeah, I thought about that. Right. <laughs> uh, that. That's cute. That's cute. I'm drop this into Discord, you know, for the 30 day colour challenge. Yeah. Make for um, October. You can have a go at making these. I've just printed these. I'm just going to make these now. I've got like a ghost zombie a vampire, a werewolf. Aww. A it's Beta Cat. It's Beta Cat. Right. Unlike the real beta cat. I like this little skull peeking through the flowers. I think I'm going to just keep keep moving them around like that. What's the peak of the paper? A what? A day of the dead. Papel. Pink day 
video. Yeah, so the flowers made out of crepe paper, they're like as big as your head. They're beautiful. And they wrap them on these poles so you can carry them around. Um, they're so pretty. They're like this big and it's just layers of crepe paper and they put it on a big pole and you can carry this big flower around for festival. I can tell that we're all at key stage three level. So I'm going to have a look at this PowerPoint. <laughs> this, is, this is a website, by the way. Anybody can use this website. It's uh, full of like good resources and stuff that we use at school. them is that the kind of thing that you're on about paper flowers I can't see that is a shame why can't you see okay does that mean that you can only see what is on my internet browser probably wow. can you see that it's um white I don't know. Oh, there was the f those paper flower things that you that you're on about. Mhm. Mm the Day of the Dead is celebrated across three days, apparently. The first day is on the same day as Halloween, the thirty-first of October. On this day at midnight, the gates of heaven are opened. Apparently, the second day, the first of November, is when the spirits of the third day, the second of November, is when the spirits of adults are allowed to visit. Apparently. Yeah, it's a very cool holiday. The stream has ended. Cricket noise closed stream. That's what I see on your Click close. Let's see if it comes back up. Did it just close the screen cherry thing? There you are. You're back. Yes, I'm back. Well, your keyboard is back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my keyboard. The keyboard. <laughs> pushed it underneath the monitor so that I could, um, so you could see. Right. But then you can't type on it to just when I was doing the thing. Um, yeah, I've got mine set here on the cricket so I can grab it. Well, I will have to work on this audio issue. But we know for next time now. Well, this is They're our always gonna have hiccups. exactly. This is our test day, right? This is one skill that I um, have acquired being a teacher: how to cut out. Because there are so many things as a teacher you have to cut out. I'm sure there are. I'm not moaning. Oh my god! Reefa's saying that I'm moaning. <laughs>
I'm so concerned that I'm going to stab myself doing this. I don't have enough room to poke this little skull in there. I wanted to put a skull in there. How are you sticking those on just with the glue gun? I have florist pins. So, I would probably end up taking a finger off with those. I, they're sharp. So I put these all together and then I take this little bore and I knock another hole in it, pop the florist pin through, and then hot glue it so that it, it stays put where I want it. And then I'm pushing it through the styrofoam. So I'm gluing each set of petals together, just in one spot, right, just a little bit, just to get them to stay in one place. So that they're in the configuration that I want, right, because I like how this looks. I really like those ones. They look so cool. And then these are every petal's a little heart. <laughs> so I was I was feeling sentimental about it. And then because the hole is cut the way it is, I can just slide that in there. Add some hot glue to it, right? And I pop one of these little palms into that hot glue over the top. So you can't see that that little thing's in there. And then I have the two wires underneath. That's exactly what they're the for. Crafty term for the polystyrene stuff, but the green stuff. Mm hmm That's exactly what they're for. I always wondered how they managed to get the flowers to like. Yeah. Damage. And then I pop it there in the wreath. And nothing's moving. See how stable that is? See that's because I have wondered if any of mine are gonna fall off. So that was my plan to get them to, to stay. Yeah, my glue gun is definitely not, not having it anymore. It's so old. If you watch more rubbish, what have you been watching? It's not PC, that's the stream. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Forget I asked. No, it's uh, <laughs> we've watched, he 
made me watch the gang. We take it in turns to watch the Sims, like to pick the Sims. Yeah. Um. So he made me watch Gangster Todd the other night, which is questionable. Um. And now I made him watch Fifty Shades Grey. Oh. Okay. One of mine and a load of yours. Well, that's turns. You just don't get as many turns. That's right? Is the video frozen for some reason? No, you just on me again. But a pop up that I thought would pop up didn't pop up. Yeah, I can still see you again. Or does it take ages for it to pop up? Would you not have a pop up? I don't know. For what? Uh, I'll. All my alerts are on. Was it going to pop up an alert? Should do. Yeah. Okay, if you think we need to get a new glue gun. But it hasn't popped up. Hey, Cass. I don't know. My alerts. Oh, oh, living. Does it just come up now? I can I see, it. see it. I can see it in Streamlabs. I can't see the alerts. Yeah, that's why he was confused because he was looking and I was like, is it going to go off? Didn't I see the alert when Wraith followed? No, that didn't come up either. Oh, my goodness. Why Have you attached your alerts to this scene? Yeah. I have. And they're on the top. They should be popping up. Let me move it around. Mm. Thank you, Lemons. I'm sorry, I alert didn't pop up. That's okay. I appreciate you. Could buy you. yourself a new one now. <laughs> Lemons donated five dollars for me to buy myself a new glue gun because this is being awful. Look at your little vampire. Yeah, I've made a wolf and a vampire. Hold them up. Let me see them both. Uh, oh, really my gosh. That's so cute. So what do you do with them? So, like, they're just, like, ornaments. So you can, oh, you can't see them. I don't know which way I'm making them. Yeah, you um, could. I can see them. You just, um fold them up with the paper so you just the print out from the website that I showed you before um, and then you just cut them out and then you just um, stick them together mm -hmm. uh, by a little tab and then they're just like decorations for Halloween they're really cute um, and that's it I'm just looking to see there was some 
Halloween letter in. Because my idea was, was to decorate the front window of, uh, like, where I live, so that when people walk past, they saw, like, all Halloween-y things. Because obviously kids can't go trick-or-treating and things. So over here, in my local area, we've all said that we're going to uh, put pumpkins in the windows. So that the kids can sort of, like, go out, walk about, and spot the pumpkins. Oh, that's cute. So we all sort of try and make an effort to sort of decorate and, and everything like that. So we're right. looking for some like Halloween lettering that is sort of like said happy Halloween. Um, it casts four episodes into a nine episode season. <laughs> She's <laughs> I feel your pain, Cass. She said brownie told her about something so she's she would have been here but brownie told her about a series on netflix so she's now four episodes in <laughs> dread to think what the series is and she loves the skulls Yeah, I think um, since I get to make more than one, because I have so many materials, uh, I think we're going to pop these up on the, on the Etsy store. I've got to do um, the photo shoot for The Haunting of Bly House. Ooh. That. Somebody's put that on the radar though. We've got like a Netflix chat at work where we all sort of um, put things that are good to watch on Netflix. So. Cass, can you hear Lemons talking to you? I hope you can. Warrior Nun is amazing. Warrior Nun? Yeah, Warrior Nun is really good. Very good, yes. I haven't heard that or seen that. And the room is meant to be quite good as well on Netflix. Uh, the room is very good. Is it good? Somebody said about watching it, but I haven't like been on my sort of radar to watch. one series and then that's all I watch for days until it's finished yeah we binge watch the new season of The Good Place on a Saturday <laughs> yeah I've watched that that's really good The Good Place um, I watched it for oh, ages I think I got to nearly the end but I thought it got a little bit rubbish towards the end well, the new season just came out. I love it. I absolutely love it. Upload is really good as well. Mm, I don't like how this one is. I don't like how this one is. Is placing itself. Yeah, that's our issue as well because over here we sort of um, we share so like we share everything so we share Amazon Prime so we share Netflix we share Now TV and I share it all with my mum so she pays half the bill so it's like we end up having loads of things to watch we've got so many platforms to watch them on. So I think this one's done. I want to leave some of that shiny. I like the shiny of the round wreath. I think I'm just going to do the bottom of this one too. What do you think? See some of the details? I really like that. It's really nice. I really like the shininess of it.
right? It's all sequins. I can't believe how lucky you were to have like just enough. Right? So this is an old scarf. Hey, Jack Riggs. It's an old scarf that I've had for, I don't know, 100 years. It's probably from the 80s. Um, and uh, I pulled it out of a little box of ribbons and whatevers, right? And thought maybe I would have enough of it to wrap this, this wreath and I could do a second one. <laughs> it was the perfect size. Like, it, it, I never even cut it. It ended and it was the perfect size. Seam to seam, perfect. Oh my goodness. I'm yeah, so we have this one. It's very three-dimensional, this one, right? Like, I think it looks nice from, from no matter how you look at it. With our handmade paper flowers. And then we have this one, which is the first one I made. The little paper flowers and the sugar skulls, and my feathers. I would be so worried about shipping these. I don't know. Like they really have to be packed careful. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, tons of it. I mean, it's not like you couldn't reshape the flowers if you had to. But, okay, so I have three of this kind of flower, one of the little heart flowers, and then I have these that I have not even made yet. In these three colors, purple, green, and blue. Oh, and I still got one more of this little flower left. And I've got five skulls. They look way better than you thought they were going to. Is that hard to envision when you're only seeing me put together parts for parts of stream? Because I never even did a whole thing on one stream. We wanted it, Lumens and I wanted it to be like a surprise, right? That you guys wouldn't be able to, to guess what it was. So I was trying to just, <laughs> one, get as much done before today as I could in order to be able to actually put them together so you guys could see them finished. Um, but I can't, I, I, I just, you know, ran out of time. So I had to combine stuff. So I had to do some pieces on stream and some pieces off stream. But I figured you guys wouldn't be able to envision what the heck I was making like how all that was going to go together because it looked a little disjointed I really do like this one it's the most satisfying thing that that just came together perfectly can't even tell you I like the feathers too I like the feathers, but I like this guy. These guys are cool to me. Yeah, I kind of like them. They're very happy, right? So Day of the Dead is all bright, bright colors, and, and it's, it's very, very festive. It's a huge celebration, whereas Halloween here in the States is very orange, black, purple, and green, right? And forever. Look at how cute Lemons is. Her skulls light up. Look. She has little crystal light-up skulls on hers, and then she put on little ghosts and pumpkins and her little flowers. There's her little wreath, isn't it adorable? It 
turned out so cute. And she's. And And she's laminated the pumpkins and the ghosts so that even if it gets wet, it'll still be nice. And then I've just printed these off so that we can make happy Halloween for the window. Yes. So it spells out happy Halloween. Hey, Dan. nice yeah you can actually have fangs so I don't know should I make another one well what else have you got to use the wreaths for Christmas True. I mean I've got four more of them But we could make some cute Christmas stuff. Like, Lemons has the idea to, to do a wreath. Um, well, she calls them baubles. We call them ornaments. Right? Where you put all of the ornaments around it and it's just a whole circle of, of shiny ornaments. Which I love. And now that... They've put out all this Christmas stuff everywhere. I can get the glass ornaments that are just frosted glass. So we can do a pour over them like we had tried to do before, but it didn't work. And it would be really cool to do a wreath with the hand poured ornaments all the way around it. What I'd like to do is find some plastic ones so that I don't have to worry so much over shipping. Because glass so ornaments some, would be rough. Yeah, I want to make some, I want me and Alyssa to make some handmade ornaments for the trees, like keepsakes that we use every year. Mm -hmm. um, so I've said that I want to make uh, some ones this year. There's a ton of really cute ones you can make out of felt. I was going to speak to you about it actually. Making my own advent calendar. Mm -hmm. So there's one that you can get in um, a shop called The Works and it's like five pounds. It's wooden and it's got like all the box drawers in, the, in there. But it literally comes bare. Let's see if you can find a picture of it. Okay, Cass. So it's a wooden one with little doors, right? And then you hide the little gift or whatever behind the door. Yeah, so it is kind of like this. There we go, if I just post it with this little chat thing over it. Um and like it comes with the twenty five drawers in and then you can design it however you want to design it but it looks really like I think you could make it into something really cute <gasps> I can't look at discord you're you're streaming from discord the second I touch it it, it gets rid of you <laughs> okay uh, so let's try this then. I'll have to look at it after but it's really cute and I think it has a lot of potential but it's just how you would make that potential. So I did, um, this is years ago when the girls were little, uh, we made an advent calendar um, out of their baby socks. So what I did was I took a cork board right a corkboard square and they they had all of their little baby socks that they'd outgrown you know like this big 
and they got to um, use, well, we used, it's kind of like an alcohol ink to dye and make spots. You, but you can use like regular Sharpie markers and add water to them and then paint the socks. And they got to decorate them and put numbers on them for each day of an advent calendar. And then we hung them all up across this cork board. <laughs> and then we put little candies and stuff in each little sock, like they were stockings for Christmas. But the girls had it. They had a ton of fun with it. And it was a way for me to use all their baby socks. <laughs> Get rid of them. No. Oh, yeah, it'd be huge. Um, but there's a bunch of stuff like that that you could do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we can buy miniature Christmas socks here that are only like a few inches tall. And then you decorate them with the little fabric paints and stuff, which is fun for kids to do. But yeah, we normally make everyone calendars for Christmas as well for like next year. That's nice, yeah. Yes. It's one of them. Yes. Um, so we normally like make a cupcake, Christmas cupcake, mm -hmm. and like a calendar, and we sort of put them all in a box with like a nice little ribbon, and then they get like a box of cookies or cakes in a calendar. All of the in laws get a, a different little basket for me every year. So sometimes they get um, jams and jellies that I've canned. Um, sometimes they get like um, soaps and candles that I've made, right? And I just make up a great big batch with a whole bunch of different things of whatever I'm making. And then um, usually right around Thanksgiving, I put them all in boxes and ship them out. Merry Christmas to all the in-laws. Everybody gets something a little bit different, but it's all handmade. It cuts yeah. my Christmas bill down a lot. Give well, the, yeah. Cakes. That's the problem, isn't it? Is how expensive that is. Um. Well, it is, but like doing, giving like them, like doing them all a box of cupcakes, a box of six cupcakes. Um, if I do them, if I batch cook them all, um, I mean, it costs me probably about five pounds to make. 62 cupcakes right if I do it properly so like five pounds and each person has like six cupcakes in a box yeah it's like cheap yeah okay it takes me about a day to get them all cooked but what I'll do is I do them on a day I do them like a couple of days before um and then it's just like one day, but like one day to bake with a little bit of love and, you know, make people happy with some cakes is worth it. Yeah. And it's taken more time than money, but it should be the time that they savor than the money right. they spent. I'm wondering now that we're talking about this, if I couldn't, I couldn't make like bath bombs and stuff with you guys on stream. I always do all of that in my kitchen. I don't do it up here. Would you, me and Minnie would love to know how you make bath bombs. She's obsessed with things. I spend like about half of my wages on bath bombs a month. Do you really? Yeah, the kid is always in the lush shop, which over here is like um, the it shop to go to if you want bath bombs. It's all like vegan um, like yes. bath bombs and everything like that. But they cost like seven pounds each. Yes, I know. They're ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Um, oh, it's on my phone. It's like so expensive. Actually, I think it may be in my recipe book in the kitchen. But I may have it on my phone. Let me check. Um, Somebody said you can make them with bicarbonate of soda. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You can. And cream of tartar. I'm sure that was it. I'm trying to find it. Hang on. Bow salts, shower soothers, geode bath oh, bombs. What, what shower soothers? I've never heard of that before. Uh, it's like a little bath bomb that you um, take and you set in the floor of your shower, right? Yeah. Um, and as the water hits it, it slowly melts and it's full of. Um, eucalyptus and menthol so it clears your sinuses and it's really nice oh that sounds so good um but it's it's like a bath bomb that's therapeutic for your shower so let's see i think this is i think this is the recipe that i used Uh, baking soda, citric acid, Epsom salt, cornstarch, uh, color, almond oil, essential oils. That's it. It's cornstarch, corn flour. Uh, hang on. I'll show you what it is. I won't be able to hear you for a second. I took out my headphones. And Epsom salt is 100% not salt. It's a whole different thing. I know what There's Epsom salt is. I think I can get that to move on. Okay. It's not even edible. This is cornstarch. So one tablespoon of cornstarch equals two tablespoons of flour to use it as like a thickening agent in yep. sauces and whatever. My mom uses that to thicken up the cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so you use this with a manufacturer. What, Dan? And yes, Dan's right. You can buy kids' kits to make your own bath bombs. They're kind of fun. But the recipes are, it is far more, it is, is far less expensive to just buy. Oh, that's awesome, Dan. Um, to buy the ingredients and make them yourself. Right? So the most expensive thing that I purchased was the mold to be able to make them round, right? Um, but I found some round ice cube molds that were silicone that were really cheap. And I've got a, oh, what do they call them now? I've got a cake pop mold. Yeah, exactly. That works if you want them round. Silver. But, I mean, if you're making them for yourself, it doesn't really matter what shape they are. Other than aesthetics. Um, but they work remarkably well, right? Like remarkably well and the cool thing about making them at home is if you have any fragrance allergies any you know dye allergies anything like that you just don't make them with any scent or anything and it does the same thing to your water your water feels still still feels really silky and nice and all that right but you don't have the fragrance and all the dyes which some people have trouble with because it causes you know yeast infections and other things like that. I'm so excited, Dan. That is like the coolest thing. Dan's going to publish a coloring book. That's so cool. Like, that's amazing. I have been, we have been coloring Dan's coloring book. She said I took some to work as well. 
Are you going to put the Beta Cat mandala in it? Make Beta Cat be the cover. No, don't do that, Dan. Don't do that. Don't make that be the cover. <laughs> but that would be awesome. Then I can have this um, horrific dabbing mouse pad and um, the soon-to-be coffee mug of me flipping people off, which is fabulous. I love this. And then we could have a Beta Cat coloring book, and I could actually be excited about something genuinely, which would be nice. <laughs> I was telling people that came into stream the other day, I was like, hey, if you're not following me on Twitter, don't do it now. Wait for this crap to die down and then follow me later. <laughs> like, you don't I need to see this. I following you. Oh, it's a I'm mess. Sure it's a mess. I can't even complain about it. Like, everybody's having so much fun with it and they're all laughing and it's, I said horrific. <laughs> Uh, so I can't, you know, you can't be mad if all your friends are happy, right? The dab is amazing, though. I mean, hands down to the person that clipped it. I know. It's traveling. It's all over the place. I can't believe it's actually a GIF. I was like, how are they doing this? And the husband is like, how are they doing this without posting a link, right? And I'm like, oh, it's just a photo. And he's like, no, it's actually a GIF. Look at it. I was like, oh. Turned it into a GIF. Yes, it's actually a GIF. Because it's really hard to get like a, a, it's really hard to get it to be a GIF. I have no idea. Yeah, it's actually a GIF. Which kills me. You can just post GIFs from your PC. You can go to Giphy, because I've done it before, making stuff for stream. Like my my alerts that aren't working presently. Actually, you know what? Can somebody, if you wouldn't mind, can you just host me real quick? And let me see if these things are popping up at all. I mean, I don't understand why they wouldn't. You already did, yeah. so they're not po popping up at all. Why not? But it was weird because you've had no follower alerts or anything, but like re-followed. Oh, I'm moving everything. I know. I'm going to put it down there. I moved it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to change scenes. See me. Well, I want to change scenes and see if it's just not working anywhere. Okay, somebody try and host me now. Please. Or follow me or do something that makes an alert happen. I don't know. <laughs> see? That works. What's the difference? I don't know. That's really confusing. Oh, I 
I suppose I could test it myself. I have that option. Did that pop up? Hey, see, it follows, it, it pops up when I do that. When I test it, Wow, that widget's really, really uh, optimistic with the Mrs. OEF5 is hosting with 702 viewers there. <laughs> so when I test it, it works, but it doesn't work when anybody else does anything. I don't know. The 10,000 bits. Oh well, I don't know. We're just gonna go with stream the way stream's going. That's that's what's gonna happen today. Lemon, lemon spray kit. I don't think it's you. You 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 weren't at my house messing with my stuff. <laughs> it was me. Oh, that would be scary. I have enough problems without that business going on. All right, I don't think I'm going to make another one. I don't know what I'm going to do with all this business, though. Would somebody like a kit? They can make their own. Look, it's a kit. Oh, that is actually quite a cool idea. I could, I suppose. I mean, if I was going to do that, I probably shouldn't have put any of these flowers together. We're halfway together. But I could. I could put together a little box of build your own kits. So if you don't particularly like these two styles, you could make your own. Which one do you guys like best? The feathers or the scarf? I like the scarf one because I like the sparkliness. Hey, 29 fireflies. How are you? You guys all like the sparkly one better? Yeah, I like the spark. Do you know how many times easier this was than this? <laughs> With the feathers? <laughs> Early we would have thought about the sparkly scarf before. I know, right? Oh, but they were such a pain, and they're still everywhere. 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 Well, I like that. I can do that. We could put together a little kit. So you get six skulls, and you get um, four partially finished flowers, three, so you can kind of get an idea of what the flowers are supposed to look like. Three of the flat flowers, one of these little guys, and then all of these little black feathers and some palms, right? Oh, maybe I should include the, the florist's um, pins in with it too. Yeah. And then obviously a styrofoam wreath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, so, if you could do that, if we did, for a reason, okay, <laughs> okay, I'll whisper with you. Um, yeah, I think I'll pop them up on Etsy as like option one, option two, and option three. Build your own, right? So you can get the one with the feathers, you can get the one with the sequins, or you can get a kit to build your own. And then at least people would have references that they could look at, you know what I mean? And a vault. 
and obviously, yeah, they could watch this VOD. Well, they'd have to watch three weeks for the VODs to see me painting the skulls, putting the feathers on the wreath. Because <laughs> it's been... It's been all pieces. We did show how to put the flowers together on this one, though. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then they'll have a little kit and they can make their own. So this will be going up on Etsy tomorrow. I love these guys. This looks, doesn't this just look like it's fun? It looks like a party, right? I really like those white things. I know. It looks fun. I do like the scarf, though. One of the things I like about this one is, like, when you hang it on your door, no matter which way you're viewing it, it looks good. You know what I mean? Yeah. No matter which. So, like, little kids looking at it still looks good. Tall guy still looks good. Me in the middle still looks good. <laughs> I like that. That's what I tried to do with mine. That's why I tried to hide all the black as I could. So that it looks good, sort of like no matter which way you look Scary at it. sequins and build your own. I like it. Yeah, so that will go up on Etsy. Um, This cutting board is going to go up with all of our little game characters on it that's wood burned. That'll go up. And then, oh, let's see if this paint is dry. Lemons, if you're talking to me, I can't hear you for a moment, but stream still can. I had to take out my headphones to wander around. Put my current starch away before some, somebody spreads that all over the studio. That would be awful. Um, so this painting goes up on Saturday, the Under the Sea painting. Are these dry, Ashira? Are these finally dry? I think they might be. Yes. And then we have that four piece vignette. That'll go up. I really like, look at the detail that is, it's so pretty. I really like that one. I think it looks like a mermaid tail. Right? I love these teals and purples together. And then you've got one that's all teal. And it's not just teal, it's got metallic light blue in it and some white, so it's got a really nice shine. And then you can, can see you some of the purple fly. in it. Can you just like fly over here and come and help me paint my new house? Oh, that would be fun. With like lots of acrylic pores on my wall. That would be difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try it. They're I'll bust. Try it best done this way. I don't know how we just throw them onto the walls. Just flick it. <laughs> the full, full purple needs to be bottom left here. Teal on top. And then this here like this. Or maybe like this. Yes? No. 
like this. Teal above purple, like this. You like it better like that? Well, you know, when they're yours, you can put them on the wall any way you want. They're not attached. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. Like it's coming up. Yes, that's very nice. Are we giving treats to Shira Cat? So we feed him the cat that's on the desk. Yes, that's a Shira. She will love you forever. Oh, she's caught my headphones on her tail. Let me get these away from her for a second. And I'll get her some treats. Um, this painting, before I get a share of treats, this one goes out to Ocean Fair Asia. That's the sub giveaway painting. I love all the water movement in here. It's so cool. And the little wispies of purple, how they just spin through there. I really like it. So that one you won't see in the Etsy shop, but this one, which is still wet on back, this will, okay, sure. Hold, please. This will be going up on Saturday as well. And I love how deep the colors are. Can you see the Make shine? Like coral in the ocean. Mm, not really. You can see some of it there. But I really like that one. So yeah, those are all going up on Etsy tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll get all of that put up. So busy day for me. I'm coming with the treat share. Yeah, I got your treat. I know. I'm, I know, meow. I know, old lady meow. Well, come on. You hear her demanding. Get up here, Meow Meow. Get up here. She's such a sweetheart. She can be really grumpy. She's an old lady cat. Do you need me to pick you up? Can you do it? You just jumped up here a second ago. It's not like you're this frail, okay? She's such a faker. She's like, oh, pick me up. Feed me. Give me the chicken treats. They're my favorite. Are you, are you gonna sit? No, I gotta love you. Yes, you just love me a lot because I have food in my hand. Oh, don't fall down. You scare me. Look, I have, I, I have the treats right here. Would you like one? Yes, please. There's another treat. Yes, please. Don't bite my finger. Such a beautiful market. Isn't she? She's a torty. I love the way that her front paws are like black. Mm hmm. But then she's got like a little bit of ginger in her. Yeah. See all the different colors? Now, she used to be much brighter, but you know, she's 10 and she has the most beautiful green eyes. Yeah, my mom's cat, she started to get old. She, um, her black turned grey. Mm hmm. Would you just swallow that one? You didn't even chew it? You gotta be careful. Okay, you get extras. That's right, because your mommy's not here, and grandma can give you extras. This is why everybody's fat at my house. <laughs> Baby, don't puke. You have to chew. 
You have to chew. But she's so sweet, she gives you head butts. It's the nicest thing. Not butt butts, but the head butt part. Get your butt out of my face. I don't know why they all do this. What is it about a cat showing you their butt? I don't want to see your butt. Yes. So sweet. All right, come here, Cher. Come on. Come on. Can you get down? Come on. You don't want to get down? No. Oh, you just when your head fell in. All right, you can stay up here for a minute longer. All right, so Saturday, I got to get all that stuff in the store. I got to get these clear coated as soon as this cat gets off of here. <laughs> we're going to clear coat those paintings, but I can't have cat hair or hot glue gun. Are you by the hot glue gun? By the way, it's still turned on. Sure, get down. Oh, there you go, baby. No, you can stay down. No. She protests quite a bit. She's very talkative. <laughs> what, meow? <coughs> so we'll get those paintings clear-coated and ready to go so that they'll dry overnight and I can take pictures tomorrow. Tomorrow. And get those up. Sunday uh, at Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern, we are going to uh, attempt. Well, we're gonna we're gonna stream our community Minecraft server, uh, and we're gonna attempt to do the Ender Dragon. So that'll be fun. Hopefully we'll have a few people show up to come play and do that with us. She just knocked that whole thing of cat treats over on purpose. <laughs> they didn't open up though, did they? You really thought you were going to just dump them on the floor and eat them all? Is that what you thought you were going to do? <laughs> she knocked the whole thing on the floor. <laughs> She's like, uh, these are mine now. Uh, yeah, so Sunday we're doing the Ender Dragon. Monday we're doing, uh, we make it Monday, and we're going to do Die, Scowl, and Hate, the opposite of Live, Laugh, and Love. So that'll be fun. Hey, Griff. Uh, I also have to get a vet's mask finished. Um, so that we can get this to the post office. What lights up? Are you talking about lemons? Lemons wreath. Lemons wreath. Wreath lights up. Yeah, it's got like. Oh, I forgot it was still on. I've just took a picture of it to post in Discord. I forgot that the camera was still on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I can't look. Um, yeah, she's got like crystal skulls, and the little skulls all light up. They're really cute. See? Yes. It's all lit up. Mine do not light up. Mine are not that fancy. These are what we made today, Griff. With our special guest, 
Life gives you lemons. She made her wreath alongside of me today via Discord video, which is fun. Yeah, in the thingy bob picture, it's just a ski messy desk. All right, we're making stuff. So I'm going to set these aside real quick. I'm going to take out my headphones, Lemon, so I won't be able to hear you for a minute. I'm going to grab some um, Mod Podge and get these paintings clear coated real quick. I've got my little uh, headphone battery pack in my pocket and it keeps flipping sideways. So it's like sticking out four inches. So we're going to do this one. We have to do Ocean's Heart. Do that one. Do all four of these guys. Um, are in the dark of the sea. This one hasn't been clear coated. I should have left my table up. But it's all right. not going to have enough table space to put all this stuff. So it'll have to sit overnight. I got my headphones back in. Let me see if I can hear you again. I'll be happy to get all of this put in the shop. And you know, uh, from now through December 1, all my subscribers get 25% off that whole store. Which hopefully would pay for shipping if not a little more although everything over 30 is free shipping anyway in the US I don't think it's international I hope I didn't set that up international so I'd spend more than <laughs> spend more than I make if I was doing that I don't understand why it's so cheap to ship to the United States from every country in the world and so expensive to ship out of the United States. I also don't understand Canada. I mean, I could ship ground to Canada, right? Like, it's, it's right there. It's just north of us. Why is that so expensive? Because it's outrageous. Canada's like, we don't want anything from any other country coming in here. Keep your crap. I can't believe the difference in shipping for me to ship to you to you to ship to me. Yeah. Like it's cheaper for me to ship to you than for you to ship to me. Oh, that make sense? appreciably, yes. Well, here's the thing though, okay? Everything ships into the U.S. 
everything. Like we import more than anybody else in the entire world. So I kind of understand how it would be less expensive because of how much is coming through. I can kind of understand that concept. But Canada, I mean, <laughs> why is that one difficult? It costs me more to ship to Canada than it does to ship to Denmark. So look at it this way. There are no time zone differences between here and the part of Canada that I'm shipping to. It's the exact same time zone. Denmark, 15 hours difference, right? But it costs me more to ship to Canada than Denmark. I mean, if I wanted to, I could take, you know, a day and just drive it there. <laughs> it's not even that deep. Never thought about you being able to drive to Canada. Yeah, I could drive to Canada. I've done it several times. I think it's because, to me, it's like so far away. Uh, from where I'm at right now, it's, um, well, it depends on which part I'm going to. About 11 hours. It's not horrible. Now, Tijuana, on the other hand, I mean, when I was in the West Coast, you know, would take me about 12 to get there and now it would take me like six days because it's quite a ways away from me now <laughs> in Mexico but yeah I can drive to Canada Mexico Baja Central America South America I mean, at some point you have to go through the locks, but other than that, yeah, you can drive it. I mean, I suppose theoretically you could drive to Russia, right? surrounded by water in the UK. Right. So we don't link to anything. So if we want to go anywhere, we have to cross water. Well, yeah, because... I mean, if you want to get to some of the states, you have to cross water to do it, like, you know, Hawaii because it's an island. Um, and then there's, you know, the Virgin Islands and all of that south of Florida. But for the rest of us, yeah, it's just a drive. But I, I think we drive a lot more than, than you guys do anyway. Yeah, we don't seem to drive a lot. Like the furthest place that you could drive to in our country is the top of Scotland. And that takes... Twelve hours. No, 
11 hours and that's at the very top of Scotland. Yeah, that's only two states away from me that takes that long. Like crazy to think that I like to get to the bottom of England. Um, it would take me about five hours and that's to get to the bottom of the country. So five hours and I've barely left my own state. It takes me, well, no, that's not true, because it takes me about three, three and a half to go up north. Takes me about, I'm right in the middle, so three, three and a half to go all the way south to get to another one. <laughs> so when you hit that about four hour mark, I'm in another state, right? Mm. Like in it, driving through it. <laughs> it's weird to think how small I am compared to how big where you are is, if you know what I mean, like, our country seems so small compared to, like, the U.S. is massive. Right. Lots of land. Lots of people in it, too, that's for sure. I have an alert. Thanks, Oprah. So this whole time I messed with them, did all that stuff, still doesn't work. Now they do. Why? I've done nothing. <laughs> so frustrating. Lemons, are you on my stream? Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you watching me? Yes. Because I have a picture of my stream. Yeah, my, um, my, my camera fell off and is now deciding that it didn't want to pop back up. I can change scenes. Hey, Oprah, what's up? I can change scenes. It's having a bit of a hissy fit, I think. I'll still have you on audio, just not on video. Um... Oh, the green paintings. We were going to decide what to do with those. I was like, gosh, I know there's something else I'm forgetting. These two. We have to decide what to do with these before I clear coat them. I can't clear coat them until they're finished. Like, are we going to decide to do something different with these? Should we make them into galaxies? Should we re-pour them and give up on them all together? Yeah, they're fine. I like the one on the right. The little specks are quite cool. Yeah, see, I think this one looks like a galaxy. Right, it just needs some star shines in it. You can't be up here because you have fur and it'll just get in that clerk. No. Hunt, what's up? You did. Thank you so much. Why is this doing holy when I told it to do you did? There we go. Oh, what story am I going to tell for story time, Lemons? Anything you want. Any story I want? Um. I don't know. I don't know what story to tell. Give me a subject. First jewelry I ever made. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I was a sophomore in high school. And um, I wanted to do uh, enamel work, right? So soldering uh, metal, like you take a piece of metal and you make a little box sides and then you make your pattern out of metal inside of it. And then you put this enamel pat and you solder all that together. And you put this enamel pattern powder into each color, into each section to make whatever pattern you want. And then you heat that all up in a kiln and it melts and makes enamel, right? Um, so it turns out I suck with a soldering gun, one. I'm awful about it, okay, or at least I was at 16. Uh, because I caught the table on fire. There was a big scorch mark in the work table. Uh, so the teacher's assistant went ahead and soldered the rest of it for me. Um, I don't know if you can still see it. So can you see this little, there's a scar there. You can barely see it. Right, where it's a different color, yeah? <laughs> Uh, that's caused because I got uh, the heated enamel because I heated it on accident, should not have, with the soldering gun and then dipped my hand in it. So <laughs> I got <laughs> like massive, yeah, because it, it uh, immediately anneals and eats away your skin. Like it's awful, okay? Uh, so I pulled that off and that's what made the scar because I just took everything off. Freaked out my entire class. Everybody panicked. Huge train wreck. Right. Right. Okay. Um, so horrible experience, but I'm signed up for this class for the whole year. I have to go back. Right. Hey, fine. Um, we're having story time. So uh, signed up for the full whole year. I absolutely have to go back. I don't have a choice. Uh, come back that next week. <coughs> and uh, the teacher's like, okay, look, this, this isn't working out. You suck at this. So um, <coughs> you can't use a soldering gun anymore, but you can put the enamel powders into everybody's stuff, right? And I was completely not happy about this. I was like, you got to teach me how to use it, okay, because I don't know. You got to teach me how to use it, you know, yeah. So, in the meanwhile, what's happened is that everybody in class is like, hey, Mrs., which I wasn't a Mrs. then, but you know, whatever. Hey, Mrs., this needs to be white, red, blue, yellow, purple, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now go do it. And I would have to do their work, essentially, for them. And then when things would go through the kiln and come back, if anything was wrong with it, of course, it was my fault, right? No, that's not what I told her to do. No, I wanted these colors this way. What? Like, it was awful, right? So I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't, yeah, exactly. I became the teacher's assistant is what I did. Yeah. Um, I don't want to do this anymore, whatever. I got to do this for a grade. Give me something else to do. And um, so my teacher looked at me and he said, I don't think you have a creative bone in your body. And I was like, all right. So I sat in the back of the class and I sketched, right? I just doodled. And um, I, I had a, <laughs> right? Uh, I had a pocket knife. Um, that I carried with me everywhere. Uh, so I carved in the, we had wooden seat chairs that had like the metal, I don't know, aluminum legs that if you bent back too far, they'd like snap, right? <laughs> that's, that's the chairs we had in school. Uh, so I carved uh, the teacher's face into the, the seat of the chair underneath my leg. 
That's what I did with the whole, the whole rest of the year. <laughs> and then when we were done with class and it was over and everything, he was like, yeah, you're going to get like a C minus or whatever, barely passing. And I was like, if I can prove to you, um, you know, that I didn't waste my time here creatively, will you give me an A? And he was like, it's not going to happen. And so I took him back to my seat and I was like, I've been sitting on your face all year. <laughs> so he gave me a B. <laughs> That's kind of rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was awful as a teenager. <laughs> and it wasn't even good, by the way. I didn't do a good job. I've never been good at carving. It's 100% not my strong suit. <laughs> it's the dimension that I struggle with. But anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first piece of jewelry uh, I ever made. Uh, wood has been an enamel face that looks like Picasso's The Rest, if you've ever seen that painting. Um, but it didn't work out, so I never got it. I don't have it. I do have a scar. But, yeah, that's what it would have looked like. That's what I was going for anyway. But yeah, that's the first piece of jewelry I ever made. Now, I will say that what actually made me want to make jewelry was that there was a building built in uh, the 1920s that was being demolished downtown and I went to the site and asked if I could collect the tiles, they had little one inch by one inch uh, tiles that were on the floor in the lobby where you walked in. And I asked if I could take some of the tiles because they were going to throw them all away. And I went and collected the tiles and um, some crystal pieces from, from lamps, little chandeliers and stuff. Um, all kinds of different stuff. And I made found object jewelry out of things like that for years, years, out of stuff from old buildings and pieces of architecture that were being torn down. Um, and that's where I really started to love it because you have to, you have to teach yourself how to wire wrap really, really unique shapes doing found object art, right? Because everything is different. Um, and I learned so much doing that, and I really started to love it. And then when I took my first jewelry class, I was like, this is not how I do shit at all. Because <laughs> I'd just been winging it forever, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I used old resistors from old radios, all kinds of stuff. And that's when I figured out that I actually loved it, right? That I really that I really enjoyed doing it. Yes, that's <laughs> skulls back. <sighs> you can't be trusted outside. And I've got a whole bunch of vintage stuff here to make memorial necklaces out of that I've got to get to at some point. We're supposed to be doing that on Creative Vets. Hopefully we'll get to do that this coming week. I legit do not know what to do with this painting. Yeah, I do think, let me, 
Simons, I'm going to hang up on you. I'm not hung up, but I should be. Excuse me, skull. There, I've hung up on lemons. So I can take these headphones out. They hurt my ears after a while. Contrast planet? Mm, I could. Here's the thing. So I keep seeing, if you look at, if you see this, there's a mouth, there's a nose, there's an eye, there's spines out the side on both sides, right? There's another eye. And then up here we've got lovely horns coming up. And he looks very much like a dragon. I know, Lemons, it was so much fun. I think it went well, actually, considering how much trouble we could have had. I think it went really well. So I'm thinking about maybe naming this uh, the Dragon Nebula and making like a constellation where we connect these things. Right? That's what I was thinking about just now as I sat here looking at it is I could actually make it into a constellation. Then we can add some little star shines around, right? Other places, but then in black, like do white star shines, and then in black, do the little dots and connect them like it's a constellation. So I was trying to figure out like how do you do that? Where do those dots go? So I can do two dots here for the mouth. Or I could just do a, a dot for the nose and the eyes. Horn, horn, up through the head and then horn, horn, horn. Maybe. I'm pretty sure the dog is getting hungry. Or maybe we don't do the eyes and you just see them once the face takes shape. So if we go here and out, here, up, over, here and out, chin, and then up, here, up, here, up. I mean, this face looks so obvious to me. It may not be that obvious to anybody else, right? Lady Brittany? Hold, please. There are more people in my house than I thought we had. Hey. Did you go get the grandchild? I, I, have, I have 10 minutes until this is over. And 20 minutes away, and I can't sleep until 6. I thought you were already gone. Chad, I'll be right back.
I'm back, guys. I have all three daughters here. Oh my goodness. All three daughters and my grandson will be here in about 30 minutes, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna hop off and go spend time with my family. And we will finish this, we will make this into a constellation. But these will all be up in the Etsy store. The two wreaths will be in the Etsy store. The game character cutting board will be in the Etsy store. And the um, under the sea painting, which is drying over there, will be in the Etsy store too on Saturday. And you all get 25% off. If you did not get the email or you don't have the link, please DM me, I'll send it to you. So, so good to see you, Hunt. Always. I hope you're doing good. Uh, let's go find somebody who is, who's streaming? Who haven't we raided in a while? Anybody have somebody they want to go raid? <gasps> I know who I want to raid. I know who I want to raid. I never, ever, ever get to raid them. They always raid me. So, we're gonna do a reverse tavern raid. That's what we're gonna, that's what I'm gonna type. I'm gonna type reverse cabin raid over and over again. And we're gonna raid Bucky. She's playing the um, survivalist, I think. So this will be fun. She always stops streaming before me. So I never get to raid. So this is exciting. I think I've only raided her like twice since I've known her. All right, here we go. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. I will see you on Sunday, hopefully.